In this video, I'm going to explain movement of scapula. Actually, scapula has many, many movements. By the way, this is superior part. This is inferior part, medial part, and lateral part. You are looking scapula from backside. This is right side of scapula. Let me explain this kind of movement. This is elevation elevation and this is depression depression elevation is when you shrink your shoulder this is elevation depression is opposite elevation and depression then let me explain this movement side to side movement this is adduction adduction this is abduction adduction abduction sometimes this movement is protraction this movement is retraction but that means same meaning abduction and protraction adduction and retraction that same meaning okay elevation depression abduction protraction adduction retraction okay now let's move on to rotational movement. Scapula can move this way, this way. It can move rotation, okay? This movement is upward rotation. This movement is downward rotation. These rotations are very important. Please focus on shoulder joint. As I move scapula to upward rotation, shoulder moves together. Of course it does, right? But that means when shoulder is raised this way, scapula needs to move together this way. Upward rotation, downward rotation. These movements are very important for shoulder movements. Let's review six movements. Elevation, depression, abduction, protraction, adduction, retraction upward rotation and downward rotation you can see these six movements in anatomy book so let's go to a little bit advanced movement which you will not see in anatomy books usually let's go profile view this is humerus please ignore this humerus scapula can move this direction okay this kind of movement this is anterior tilt this is posterior tilt there is anterior tilt and posterior tilt in pelvis however scapula also can do anterior tilt and posterior tilt let's say this is neutral position anterior tilt and posterior tilt that's very interesting right then one more direction this is this kind of movement this movement this is internal rotation this is external rotation it's a little bit confusing right which way is internal and which which is external here is how i remember let's think about rotation of shoulder which way is shoulder external rotation this way right so scapula moves same way this way is scapula external rotation. Which way is shoulder internal rotation? This way, right? That's why scapula internal rotation is this way, okay? This shoulder and scapula rotation can be separated, okay? So sh shoulder joint can do internal rotation by itself, and scapula can do internal rotation by itself. So this is just how I remember. Shoulder internal rotation, scapular internal rotation, same direction. Shoulder external rotation, scapular external rotation, same way, okay? This is how I remember. Okay, let's review today's movement. Elevation, depression, abduction, protraction, adduction, retraction upward rotation downward rotation 
these are very important for shoulder movements. Anterior tilt, posterior tilt, internal rotation, and external rotation. You know, understanding movement of scapula is very, very important. If you understand movement of scapula, you can understand shoulder movement as well. Plus, if you can understand scapular movement, you can understand thorax movement. This is very important place for upper limb. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.